Gary and I have spent our life trying to encourage people and keep them from making the mistakes we made early on and giving the keys that we learned to make us successful. We want you to have great success. And the other side of faith helps to do that. I love this teaching because it deals with both things that we need to win. And I see that, you, you see it. People, we, wanna, we want them to win and they get a hold of the Word of God, but they don't understand their piece of the puzzle. And That's right. I love in the series, You Break Apart, the financial part, the relational part, mm -hmm. so many different areas of life where people want to win. They truly exactly want to right. win, but helping them mix faith with what they need to do and knowing where to draw the line, what God's responsible for and what they're responsible for. Well, one thing we're responsible for is knowing the Word of God, Drenda, discipline. Romans chapter 12 is your answer for do not conform to the pattern of this world. That's the thoughts how the world thinks, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test, approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. You know, I've had people, and so have you, Drenda, they say, well, I don't believe like that. You know, our, our church doesn't believe like you teach, Gary, or I don't believe like that. And you ask them, well, what do you believe? If you hand them the Bible, they stare at you. They, they only know what someone's told. Yeah, they, they, don't, they can't take the Bible and say, well, this is why I believe what I believe. Mm -hmm. And you have a responsibility, if you're going to be successful in the kingdom of God, remember the kingdom's government with laws, you've got to know the laws. Right. You have to know what's, what's yours. You know, I remember years ago, this is before we pastored, uh, we had the old van that burned up. Remember, we, <laughs> long story of that, we've told okay, that story for years, yeah. <laughs> You know, we are just learning how the kingdom operated and, you know, it needed money and bad situation. The van was old. But the bottom, bottom line is that uh, I asked God to teach me, okay, he told me the kingdom's your answer. How's, how, the, you know, how does it work? I don't know. So we prayed about it. God teaches us what it means. And so we had this old van. And anyway, the bottom line was it was in bad shape. And I said one day, you know, it, it started acting up, had problems. I said, Lord, maybe it just be better, it just burns up. And they're not trying to, I mean, I had no money to pay it off or fix you it. You were desperate. I was desperate. I was desperate. <laughs> we were desperate. We were desperate. No food. We were, right. you know, we because were Because we had learned some of the things we're sharing today. Yeah, we were in trouble. And I remember saying, you know, Lord, I don't know what to do with this thing. Maybe it'd be better if it just burned up. And I was, when I said that, I was driving it. And within a few just a minute or so after I said that, I noticed the hood began to bubble the paint as I was driving down the freeway back to my office, and it kept getting bigger and bigger, and uh, pulled in the office complex, and it just burst into flame, and it was totaled, and when it was totaled, they, you know, the insurance paid it off and everything, and it was like, wow, did, did, it, did it really happen like that? Did I, did, I, did I do something to put that in motion? I said out loud, you know, I... I don't know, but the, the bottom line is that the insurance company went to settle the claim. And they said, here's the amount we're going to give you for the, for the van. And I just thought I'd read the policy, you know, before I went and picked the check up the, the next day. And it, amazingly, in the policy, it said, there's no deductible if it burns. And the agent of the insurance company had subtracted the deductible. So I called him up. I said, wait a minute, the insurance policy says I don't have to pay a deductible if it, if it burns. He said, well, I don't think so. And you could hear the computer key, keys. Yeah. And he said, well, Mr. Cassie, you're right. I'll put that $500 back in the check. And he issued the check with the $500. Now, the question is, would I have received that $500 if I did not know my legal rights? No. No, and that's exactly how the devil operates. If you don't know your legal rights, you don't know the Word of God. You know, we have in, in preschool, we have memory verses. Like, well, that's, the little kids, they like that. Well, I'll tell you what, the big kids need to do that. Because we need to know what the Bible says. Yes, we do. And discipline to study, right. uh, to show ourselves approved, to be able to discern, as Romans says, to approve what God's will is. I'll receive that. Oh, no, that's not God's will. I'll reject that. Right. I can approve His good and perfect will as I know what the Bible says. I can sift and receive what God has for me because I know. I can right. test it. Right. I, have, I have the right answer. Yes. And you're able to do that 
by strategies. I love that you teach. Mm -hmm. Not only do we see the Word of God, but the Holy Spirit gives us strategies, wisdom, ideas. The fact that you even went and looked at the policy, that took effort on your part. Yes, exactly. You had to do that. But I'm sure there was a direction to go, check out that policy. And we don't even know sometimes the Holy Spirit is leading us in yeah. a very practical way to do something, to make a phone call, to pick up this, to go by and do this, or call this client, or run this advertisement. There are things that are in the natural realm that the Holy Spirit is giving us the direction to carry out. But we, if we don't carry it out, then we can sit all day long in our lazy boy waiting on God to drop something out of heaven yeah, it's that's a, not coming because we're not, even, even Elijah, when he was told to go, he was told to go where the ravens were. He was told, go to this brook, go to this place, does, yes. and the raven came and fed him. So there was a supernatural part, but there was also a natural part. Had he not obeyed the direction and went to the place he was supposed to be, then he wouldn't receive the divine provision that he was supposed to receive as well. Exactly. Preparation, discipline, um, there's so many things to know. How did my child turn out this way? I mean, they grew up in church. There's a reason. <laughs> yeah, Why am I broke? Why am I in debt? There's a reason. Yes. God didn't sign those debt papers. You know, there's always reasons. And if you'll learn to ask, dig into it, find out what God says. Here's the thing we have to remember. We've learned everything wrong. In the earth when curse you, system. In the yes. earth curse system, you've learned how to survive as a survivalist. You know, rob Peter to pay Paul and, you know, kind of eke out an existence. You have to renew your mind and you have to take care of the details. You know, if you knew that you were going to harvest a bunch of fish, I mean, if you knew for a fact that you were going to harvest a bunch of fish, you'd wash your nets. Mm -hmm. So your faith should produce Works. doing something yes. that anticipates yes. that to come to pass. Absolutely. Not just, you know, mailbox mentality, right. we call it, where, well, you know, God's going to take care of me and just you know, check the mailbox every day, but I don't know why we're starving. Really, the Bible says a man should not eat unless he works. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's not spiritual. Oh, I, agree. I think it is really spiritual to do our part. We have to prepare. We need to prepare and be diligent with integrity mm -hmm. to... David had the lion, the bear, then Goliath. Yes. I mean, there's always preparation. I like what Paul said. He said, I'll show you my faith by my works. Exactly. The fact that you, what you said, well, the fact that you believe there's going to be a harvest, that the fish are coming, that God's giving you, uh, he's, he's preparing you to, to succeed. And we believe this year is going to be a year of double portion. It's a year of abundance. And so we want to prepare people right. to harvest in a big way. So get your nets clean, get ready, get things in order, get ready to receive all that God has. Because if you truly believe you're being positioned to receive grace, greatness and provision and harvest, then you'll also clean the net. So get That's your right. Clean. So the other side of faith is covers a lot of different topics yes. that are about you and your responsibility. Just a good checkup. Mm -hmm. I would get the series just to do a checkup and see how you, how you pass. And I, I believe the Holy Spirit will probably say, yeah, that area right, right, right. there, you need to probably yes. check that one or make some adjustments, th yeah, make some adjustments there because you don't want to miss the harvest that God has for you. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.